Hello and welcome to episode 28 of my Malaga save on Football Manager sa on Football Manager 20. Um, things have been going pretty up and down again, to be fair. Hit and miss. Um, since we last met. Well, since we last met. <laughs> Scrap that. When we last met was the Severe Games, which was uh, a couple of losses. Uh, but then we drew 0-0 Al with Alaves, which we should have done a lot better in. We played really poor. You know, we were just not taking the chances that we were getting and uh, yeah and then uh, Celta Vigo we, lo uh, we won 2-0 against Valencia was a good game uh, I didn't mean to click on it but uh, we got a penalty in the 11th minute and then they equalised in the 56th minute again could we have won it yeah maybe we could have won it but uh, they came at us quite a bit in the uh, highlights um, especially after our penalty uh, was scored but uh, yeah just couldn't hold them off or get a second goal uh, then we beat Athletic Club 2-0 uh, followed by Ray Valenko 4-0 uh, Brandon Cortez finally getting back in the goals there after not scoring since Real Sociedad so uh, yeah quite some time but glad to see him back in the goals uh, so today, what we're going to do is we're going to do both legs of the Europa League second knockout round. We're going to have the first leg, then we're going to play this um, Yorker game offline, off camera, and then we'll come back for the second leg as well in this episode. So both legs will be in this episode. Um, and hopefully we can qualify for the quarter final round. Can we... Yeah, there's all your... All your uh, what you call it? fixtures, words, things, yeah, that's all the fixtures that uh, have come out. So uh, looks like half of them have already played. Barcelona three 0 up against Lyon. Dynamo Kiev two 0 against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Uh, Tottenham are beating Porto one 0 at the moment, and Leipzig only one 0 up against Bournemouth. With their second leg still to play. So without further ado. Let's get into this first game. Um, we're going to go with uh, Rea in goal, Bartlett right back, Sao comes in for Vallejo uh, at centre back, and Suter will partner him. Pavlovic at left back, Batista Mayer on the right wing, Calderon in the centre park, David Neres on the left wing because uh, Renan Lodi has picked up a foot injury in the, I think it was the last game, yeah the last game we just played and is going to be missing missing both these legs um, to be fair unfortunately but is what it is uh, Oscar in the attacking midfield role and then you've got Jonas Wind and Cortez up top who both are on 17 goals each this season in all competitions so uh, that's pretty good pretty good going so let's get into this one We've got Gallego down on the bench as well, once again. Um, he's been stepping up again. He's not... I don't think he... I don't remember him scoring. But he did have another fantastic free kick for us. That really tested the keeper, but the keeper only just managed to reach it. And keep it out. Um, so, yeah, he's kind of like a... Seems to be a free kick specialist, from what I've seen. In the highlights, anyway. Uh, but he is still pumping in the performances as well. He's hitting seven, seven and above um, most of the time that I play him. So yeah, definitely, uh, definitely going to grow with the uh, grow into that position. I think, although he's only currently um, a three-star potential at the moment, but he does seem to be a lot better. He's currently only second. Uh, is it second division? The division below? Yeah, according to his uh, star, uh, his uh, scout report, he's the division below quality at the moment. And that's gone straight in from Bartolek. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was brilliant. I, I think he was actually trying to cross it and aim for... Was it Jonas Wind in the middle there? Or Cortez? Even though he was offside... In fact, he wasn't offside. It was Jonas Wind. He was aiming for, I think, but Jonas Wind wasn't quick enough to react to it. 
And it went straight in. We'll take that. 1-0 up against Las Glins. Uh, of the Aust Austrian, I think they are. Is it Austrian League? Oh, no, they're Bundesliga. In Australia. Austria. Yeah. Okay, yeah. There's a free kick played in. Uh, I didn't see who headed that. But it didn't go in anyway. As we now have another corner. Batista Mayer puts a ball in. And they clear it. Um, yeah. So come on, lads. Oh, that's... Oh, Sal just got himself sent off. No, it's only a yellow, thankfully. I was lucky to get away with that. I was expecting it to be a red. Being that it's a big game. Ooh, that pinged the outside of the post. Let's not, uh, let's not them give them too many chances like that. Come on, lads. Let's shout at them. See what happens with this highlight first before I do a shout. Pavlovic, I was going to demand more, but yeah, that's poor passing. And now they're through the defence again, and luckily didn't shoot on target. Right, shout, demand more. Come on, lads. You are better than this. I've seen you play much better than this. Against bigger teams. Such as Barcelona and Valencia. And Real Madrid as well. For that matter. Come on. Do away goals count? Because we are the away team. I wonder if away goals count. I'm sure they do. Happy so far. Keep it up. Not that bad, but you can do better. That is a hundred percent true. One hundred percent true. I will check after the game whether away goals count or not. <coughs> Come on, lads. Batista May with the free kick and Sal with the header just over. We now have a throw in deep in their half. B B Bartolek takes it and Neres is responds to it and puts it in the net for 2 0. Fantastic stuff. Come on. Yes, lads. Come on. David Neres just. Bartolek just throws the ball over everybody and David Neres knows what's going on. Runs through everybody and gets the ball and puts it in the net. Right, let's uh, make some substitutes as well. Uh, Brandon Cortez not having a good game. 6.6. .6. I think we bring uh, Dragas on for it. In fact, no, we bring uh, Arezo on for Cortez. Uh, give him some game time. And uh, I'm thinking Gallego as well for Oscar. Do I bring Gallego on? Do I bring Gallego on? Do I bring Kaidi Bear on to get him some more fitness? We are two nil up. Um, I think we'll I think we'll bring Kaidi Bear on first for Calderon. Try and get some more fitness back into Kaidi Bear. He's only recently come back from a big injury, so uh, Kaidi Bear has so yeah he needs the game time to get the fitness. His sharpness back, sorry, not fitness. Oh, it's a great ball in from David Neres, but uh, it's not directed goalwards. It's, in fact, it might have even been blocked. But now Bartlett with the throw into Arezzo. Bartlett again tries to get the cross in, but it's blocked. Falls to Pavlovic. And now Kylie Bear back to Suter and down to Arezzo, who's on the left wing here. Keeps the ball in, but then just loses out. And now they're on the attack with the ball. Come on, lads. Oh, that's a great tackle from Kaidi Bear. Plays the ball forward, but nobody's there. And now they're through the defence again. I'm kind of considering switching up the formation, actually. But I have just brought the midfielder off. Uh, can Gallego p play? Uh, sort of. Playmaker, no. Box to box, not really. Hmm. 
kind of want a, a defensive midfielder in that. Defensive midfielder in that. What formation is that? Oh, that's a diamond. Oh, a diamond. But that'll take away the width that we've got, that we've been doing so well with. So I think, no, we're going to have to go with this formation. Um, with Arezzo up top and Neres on that side. Matisse and Mayer could play back in central midfield, apparently, if necessary. Not actually, I don't remember trying Matisse and Mayer in the central midfield. Hmm. Maybe it's a box to box. Yeah, what other options are there? Pedri could. Pedri could step back there. Of course he can. But I think I want Pedri as the box to box. Do I? Or the deep line playmaker? Hmm. Yeah, either either to be fair. So I'm thinking okay. So let's do this then. Pedri for Jonas Wind. And he's gonna be the box to box with Oscar as the deep line playmaker. In fact. No, yeah, that's what we'll do. Like that. For the last ten minutes and try and keep this uh, two goal lead. Drop some praise on the lads because they've done really well. Pavlovic starting to struggle, but to be fair, we're probably going to rotate the team for the uh, Mallorca game anyway, so that they're fresh for the second leg in the second part of the episode. Bartlek plays the ball forward, finds a Rezo who's through. Can he finish? No, he can't. Never mind. Never mind. And that is going to be a 2-0 victory away from home uh, against Last Lins in the second round. Assertive, I am very happy with the result and the way he played. And I said I was going to check the rules. Where are we? Rules. Uh, do away goals count? Where is it? Transfer window. Hmm. General competition, obviously. Uh, is it? No, it's not. It's up here. Look. Leg two match rules. Only players registered for the competition are eligible to play. Away goals used if scores are level after 90 minutes. So, yes, away goals do count. Happy days. That means they need to score three goals at our place. Uh, yeah, three goals at our place. without us scoring. Bartlek on form for Malaga. He was indeed. That was a great goal. As much as he probably didn't mean to mean to uh, uh, as much as he probably didn't mean to do it. It was a great goal. But anyway, we jump forward now and I will see you in a little bit. Just before we do anything else, we've got the quarter final draw and the semi final draw here now. So uh we can have a look at this, see who we will get. Obviously, it's still all the teams I've just shown you. So, Athletic Madrid or Ajax will play Dynamo Kiev or Borussia Mönchengladbach in the quarter final. Then you've got Las Glins or us, Malaga, will play Porto or Tottenham in the quarter final. Valencia Sporting, Besiktas or Sevilla. Barcelona or Leon will play Leipzig or Bournemouth. Okay. That's great. Great stuff. What happened to the other draw? Ah, oh, there we go. Um, okay. So then you get Barcelona, Leon, Leipzig or Bournemouth will play. Las Lins, Us, Malaga, Porto or Tottenham. And then everybody else in the, se in the other semi-final. 
well that was a poor game that was a poor poor game I think what we've learnt is outside the first 11 there's not much quality um, yeah that was a poor game from us we made hard work of to get even get a draw right here we go then for the uh, second leg of the uh, Europa Europa League uh, second knockout round uh, we're going with the same same team as we did in the first leg um, so let's get straight into this one hopefully we can uh, carry our lead through this game if we could even nick a goal uh, well not nick a goal, if we could score a goal then that would be even better because that will uh, definitely um, definitely take the wind out of their sails because that would mean they need to score four uh, no it does, yes it does four No, it doesn't. They still need three because uh, they go through on away goals. Then, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah, it uh, it it ups their what they would need to do basically. That's what I'm trying to get at. Jonas Win cans it off the crossbar. Come on, lads, that's brilliant. I mean, no highlights. Yeah, that'd be good. That'll do me. I'm not not too fast. It'll get us through. Gives a whole bunch of cash again. Dressing room, team talk, assertive. Uh, yeah, so not happy with the performance even though I kind of am. Because uh, we haven't well, we haven't really seen anything, to be fair. We had that one highlight where Jonas Wind canned it off the crossbar and that was it. <laughs> but what I don't want to see is their attacking highlights. Thank you. David Nares nicks it. Runs down the left wing with it. Can you get the cross in? He's going to lay it back to Calderon. Can you find Kite, uh, Oscar? He does. Oh, that was only just wide. Only just wide. But good effort. Come on, lads. Let's stay focused. Let's try and that's it. Nick the ball back. Oscar through to wind. Can he? He does round the keeper and puts it in the net. Beautiful stuff. His nineteenth goal of the season in all competitions. Fantastic stuff. Absolutely brilliant. That's a great through ball from uh, Oscar as well to find Jonas Wind. And Wind just takes it round the keeper and puts it away. Now they need three. They do need three goals still. To go through on away goals. Brilliant stuff, lads. That's what I was looking for. A goal to get you going. Brandon, Brandon Cortez is still not playing that well. You know what? I'm not going to bring Dragos on. I'm going to bring Arezo on again. Um, who else is going to get a go? Pavlovic. Uh, do we need to rest Pavlovic at this stage? I think maybe not. Maybe bring him off as a third sub. Get Kylie Bear on for Calderon. And we go again. Shout a bit of praise. It's good stuff, lads. Good stuff. Right now we'll bring uh, Pavlovic off. Give him a, a bit of a break, a bit of a breather. Now what? Bro Pazlak play out there, can he? Pazlak even. Yes, sort of. But that's not what we'll do. We will play Garcia out there because Garcia can do it better on that side apparently. Pazlak's more of a right back, I think. That was a bit of a weird interlude, wasn't it? <laughs> Oscar with the ball to Batista Meyer. A 
game is done. We're through. Bartolek. There's only whatever remains of this now, and that's done. Game is done. Do we get to take the throw in? We do. Jonas Wind, Kaidi Bear, Bartolek put the ball in. It is pinged in, but uh, pings around, and uh, we're, there you go, we're through to the quarterfinals. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful. Assertive. Uh, let's say... Uh, I'm happy with the way you played. And who do we play? Is it going to be... Tottenham or uh, it was on Porto got just under a million pounds for that, for just for playing in the second leg, second knockout round. Um, continue. Oh, they haven't played yet. Okay. So is it going to be Tottenham or Porto? We're going to be playing Tottenham in the quarter final. And we're going to be home to start. Lovely stuff. Well, there you go. A home fixture to Tottenham Hotspurs, then, is next up. When is that, actually? Schedule. The quarter final is going to be there, so it's not too far away. So, yeah, that will be the next episode, then. Tottenham. Um, yeah, both Tottenham games, I guess, in the next episode, then. Um, not sure. Yeah, definitely, definitely Tottenham in the next episode. Both of the both legs of Tottenham. Um, so there you go. If you have uh, enjoyed that, leave a thumbs up. Comment down below. What do you think of the that result? How do you think we'll do against Tottenham? Will we make it through to the semi-finals of the Europa League? Come on! Yes, we've well exceeded the board's expectations for this because that was only to get to the first round. We bypassed the first round by winning the group. And then got straight to the second round. And now we're through to the quarterfinal. Come on. Yeah, if you did like that, leave a comment. Leave a like. Say hello. That's all wrong. The outro's all wrong. But you get the idea. You know what to do. And subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.